Hi, I'm Kirsten Johnson of richerexperiences.com and I am so excited to make this video for you. I get so many questions about this. So this video is about how to stop anxiety quickly. So when anxiety is happening in the moment, what can you do to immediately stop it? So let's just start with what anxiety is. Anxiety is trying to cope with the future. It's trying to manage the future. It's, it's having our brains inside the future, trying to have it inside the future, which is actually impossible. And as a result, we get those feelings in our body that we associate with anxiety. So our thoughts about the future and trying to manage it affect our physiology, our body, and then we get these anxious feelings and that affects our thinking. So we get in this loop of our thoughts and our feelings to our thoughts and our feelings, everything affecting it. So the way that we stop anxiety from happening in the moment is we take two different approaches, one to stop the thoughts and the second to stop the reaction that's happening in the body. So I'm going to give you five ways to stop anxiety quickly. So number one is put your hand on your belly. It sounds super simple, but it is a very effective way to start. So you just put your hand on your belly, maybe you're rubbing your belly, and what you're doing here is you're connecting into the moment. Because the thinking, the anxious thoughts are all in the future, they're not in the present moment, and your body is always in the present moment. So when you rub your belly, you can feel a connection, you can bring your attention into the spot where your hand touches your belly, and it brings you into the moment, into what's actually happening. And when you're in the moment, you're safe from anxiety. So touching your belly, number one. Uh, while you're doing this, go ahead and go to step number two, which is deep, mindful breaths. So the invitation I would give you, as many as you want, but try three mindful breaths. So you inhale. And exhale. You can breathe just through your nose. You can breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. But take those three mindful breaths if it feels okay, close your eyes so you can bring your, all of your attention to your breath, either where it's coming in your nostril or where it's coming in your abdomen, bring your attention there. So for example, I'll bring my attention to my, my nostril. I can feel the air coming in and then feel the air coming out. And so when I have my attention there, it's no longer on the anxiety thought spiral, perpetuating the anxious thoughts, which is perpetuating the anxious feelings. The other really good thing about focusing on your breath is that when we do those deep mindful breaths, it activates our parasympathetic nervous system. So our autonomic nervous system has two segments. We have the parasympathetic nervous system and the sympathetic nervous system. The sympathetic nervous system is what is associated with fight or flight. So that's what's happening during anxiety. Uh, there's something in our environment is perceived as danger. It's not real danger. It's not actually fear. There's not a saber-toothed tiger coming to attack us. So we perceive danger in our environment. Uh, it snaps on the part of our brain that releases these stress chemicals, and then those get flooded through our system, and then our body, we feel the anxiety. So in order to stop that process from happening, we take the deep mindful breaths, and that shuts off the sympathetic nervous system and turns on the parasympathetic nervous system. So that's why it works. Step number three would be to count your breaths. So as you're taking those breaths in, say one in your mind, and you exhale, say one again. And then inhale, say two, and exhale, say two. So each breath you take, go ahead and count, and what that does is it activates your neocortex, so you're bringing your mental focus off of the anxious thinking and away from the amygdala, which is the center of your brain that's <laughs> responsible for emotions. So when you're triggered into this anxiety, your amygdala is very active. So when you count, you're getting out of the emotional center and you're going into the logical center, the prefrontal neocortex, prefrontal cortex. So the counting turns on the part of your brain that's gonna actually help calm you down as well because it's stopping the release of those chemicals. And it's those chemicals that you feel, that it's the chemicals that make your palms sweaty, your heart race, and your shaky and stuff because those chemicals are trying to give you the energy so that you could run away from that tiger. Problem is, is that there is no tiger. So the counting with the breathing is your great way to go and to try to calm that down. Step number four is to relax your muscles. So scan your body. You can start right away with your shoulders, like relaxing your shoulders down. And maybe come to your jaw neck, so relax your jaw. You can close your eyes for this one too if it's helpful. And then from your head down to your feet, scan your body and see if there's any place that you're holding tension. What happens is when we have these anxious thoughts, it will create tension literally in our body. 
So a relaxed body and a relaxed mind go together. So in order to help relax our mind, we can relax our body. And when our body is more relaxed, our thinking will be more relaxed. Step five is to journal. So you've done all the stuff, you've worked with your brain, you've worked with your body, you've let go of some of this anxious thinking by redirecting your attention into your breath, into the counting, into the relaxation of your muscles, into the hand on the belly. And so any sort of anxious thoughts that are still there in the background, get it all out. So you can call a friend or my invitation is to start writing in a journal and just write down everything that you're thinking to get it out of your mind and into the world outside of you. And that'll be really helpful. While you're journaling, go ahead and continue with the mindful breath because that'll help keep you at a calmer pace. Awesome. Now that you have those five tips for how to quickly stop anxiety in the moment, uh, come over to richerexperiences.com. I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching. I have a free video course there for overcoming fear and dealing with intense emotions and how to manage them. Also, I have a five-week online course all about how to overcome anxiety and fear and feel more comfortable in your skin. It's also around helping to relieve any sort of physical pain that you may have. Also, it is for intense emotions. So like, what do you do with anger, grief, sadness, rage? So how do you manage intense emotions so that you can be more calm and find more peace of mind? So again, that's over at richerexperiences.com. I hope you're having a great day. Leave a comment below, like this video, and send it to any friends that you think might need some help with managing their anxiety. All right, have a good one, bye.